today I'm going to show you how I constructed these beautiful horns using some EVA craft foam. I start by tracing a small segment of the horn that I want. I cut it into small sections so I get the spiral effect that I want with the horns. Once I have them all traced onto the foam, I break out my box cutter and start cutting. I stack them every now and then just to make sure I'm getting the general shape that I'm going to want in the end. Once all the pieces are cut out, I heat seal them so I can glue them together. With my work surface down, I begin to glue them together in the general shape of the horn that I want. This part takes a little patience because you need to apply a thin layer of the contact cement to both sides of the foam and let it dry before you can adhere them together. best to build the rough shape of the horns simultaneously so they become as symmetrical as possible. Trim as much of the extra EVA foam with my craft shears before I start carving. I use a face mask and safety goggles to prevent the dust getting in my eyes and inhaling it. I use a vacuum to help get as much of the dust out of the air as I go. Even with the vacuum right next to my work, you can still see the foam building up all over my hands and clothing. Once the horn is smooth and the shape that you want, it's time to start carving the details. I'm just using the circumference of the sanding wheel to get the ridges of the horns. Just taking 
taking a quick inspection of my work to see if I'm satisfied with it. Looks like they're pretty good to me. Once the horns are carved, they will have to be heat sealed again. This will cause a split between some of the pieces you glued together, which is easily fixed with a little bathroom caulking. Once it's dry, just paint and glue them to a headband. Music